When you think of rum, are you still thinking of those white rums and spiced rums you drank back in college? You know the ones I'm talking about. If so, it's time to update your thinking and get introduced to the craft rum revolution. Stay tuned for today's video where we're sharing three rums from New England that will give you a little taste of what you've been missing. So first, let's talk a little about the history of rum, which was invented back in the 17th century in the West Indies. Rum is made from sugarcane juice, honey, or molasses. Molasses is a waste byproduct of the sugar making process. So as part of the colonial trade routes, rum quickly caught on in the American colonies, which then began importing molasses to distill rum themselves. This is where the debate begins. Was New England style rum traditionally made with blackstrap molasses or higher quality grade A molasses? Honestly, the debate continues today. But what isn't debated is this next part. That rum from New England had a reputation for being thicker and less sweet than the traditional Caribbean rums of the time. Part of this came from New England distillers using molasses, whereas many Caribbean islands were using pure cane sugar juice at that time. But part of it also came from the fact that New England rum was often transported for up to a year at a time on ships crossing the triangle trade. As many of the other spir early spirits of that time, this was one of the first examples of barrel aging, and it really benefited the rum and put New England's over 150 distilleries on the map as quality rum producers in the late 1700s and 1800s. So what happened? Why did we all grow up thinking rum only came from Caribbean islands and, you know, visions of fruity drinks? Well, history happened. The triangle trade thankfully came to an end, vastly reducing New England's ready supply of cheap molasses. Problem number one. Then beet sugar started replacing cane sugar. And unfortunately, the byproduct of beet sugar production just isn't suitable for making rum. Another ding. Lastly, by the time prohibition came around to put the final nail in the coffin, newer spirits such as whiskey had already started to overtake rum in popularity. So we all grew up with visions of rum and Caribbean islands and sticky sweet tropical drinks to make it palatable. But as much as this girl loves herself a pina colada and had these misconceptions about rum herself, delicious sipping rum is back and New England distilleries are focusing on rum again. And man, let me tell you how blown away I was by what I was tasting. Actually, scratch that. Let me show you. Okay. So first up, we have Grand 10 Distilling's Medford Rum out of Boston. Medford Mass specifically had a real reputation for amazing rum during the heyday we were previously speaking of. Hence, the name of this rum. It's so interesting, in fact, that we'll actually be writing up an article all about Medford's rum history. So make sure to subscribe to our newsletter to learn more about that. Back to the rum. In keeping with tradition, Grand 10 takes real pride in this history and uses blackstrap molasses, so now we know where they fall on that side of the debate. And they also use wild yeast from the New England air at their distillery, and they age the rum in charred American oak barrels. The resulting rum is just gorgeous in color, smooth, rich, and has an incredible brown sugar, vanilla, buttery flavor. Yeah, that's right. Basically all the ingredients in a delicious, soul-satisfying cake. Let's take a little taste. Mm. I mean, honestly, every time I take a sip of this, I start to think that rum might soon be replacing my bourbon sipping habit. It's that good. And while I'm sure it would make amazing mixed drinks as well, I don't know why you would want to mess with such a perfect sip on its own. Now we're moving up to Burlington, Vermont. The next two rums I wanted to share with you are both from Mad River Distillers. And while Grand Ten's rum is a perfect example of a classic New England rum, these two start to showcase the innovations going on in the region. Namely, they walk away from the classic New England tradition and make their rums from 100% distilled Demerara sugar. But they're pushing the boundaries even more than that. The first example is their maple cask rum, which I have here. I mean, come on, <laughs> would you expect anything different from a Vermont distiller? Maple rum, it's perfect. But what makes it even more perfect is how it's made. So first, they have their aged first run rum, and then they take that rum once it's finished and give the barrels that they aged it in to a local makeable syrup maker. He then ages his maple syrup in their rum barrels 
and then gives those now rummy maple cured barrels back to Mad River Distillers and they put their first run rum back into them, which is how we get this delectably complex maple cask rum. Again, it sips like a bourbon with incredible smoothness and a touch of that maple sweetness that almost morphs into like a butterscotch. I'm honestly tempted to try it in the morning with some pancakes for breakfast, it's so yummy. Really, really delicious. Last, but certainly not least, we have Mad River Distillers PX Rum, which is their age first run rum again, but this time it's finished in Pedro Jimenez Sherry casks. If you're a Sherry lover, stay tuned for more on that because Sherry is making a big comeback too. But if you're a Sherry lover, you have to get your hands on this rum. So the already rich flavors of this rum are so beautifully complemented by the subtle notes of kind of like a candied date, maybe a bit of like deep dark chocolate or coffee flavors. It's a really special sipping rum that you're gonna have to take a trip to Burlington, Vermont to get your hands on, unfortunately. Luckily for you, Burlington is an adorable little city with tons of great craft alcohol producers and Mad River Distiller rums are totally worth the trip. Have I convinced you yet to start sipping and playing around with rum? I sure do hope so. Head on over to thecraftycast.com to learn more and check out some of our other great rum content so you're ready to dive in and start drinking. No more Captain and Cokes or super fruity drinks needed. You're a grown up now. It's time for a grown up rum. And man, do you have some delicious craft rums to start exploring. Make sure to subscribe to our newsletter so you don't miss out as we continue to explore the world of rum ourselves and share what we find with all of you. And of course, if you subscribe, you'll be the first to know once we can start shipping some of these great finds directly to you to try. Until next time, drink craft and drink local. Cheers. Drink the lime and the coconut, she drank them both up. With the lime and the coconut, she drank them both up. She said, doctor. <laughs> Not the kind of rum we're talking about today. <laughs> That's awesome, you're hilarious. <laughs>